Do you understand how many times <laughs> that we are not living under our uh, promise? Yes. And when we are not living under our uh, promise, we we're living under under that which really suppo you're supposed to be over. Uh -huh. You are under the authority uh -oh. Uh -oh. because uh -oh. you are not living uh -oh. under your promise. My God, help. What did Goliath say mm -hmm. while David was walking down the cliff? Mm -hmm. He said, this is what we are going to do. We are not going to have any big fight here tonight. <laughs> Just two people are going to come hand to hand together. Uh -huh. And the one that wins, <laughs> he will be the master. <laughs> and those that lose, they are going to be the servant. <laughs> what was supposed to happen to God? God was supposed to be under the authority of Israel uh -huh. the minute that Goliath fell. That's true. That's right. No. He was under looking at job, spitting at himself oh because God. he did not they did not walk under the authority oh, that they were supposed Amen. to walk under. Sure. What authority are you supposed to be walking under my, tonight my, my, my. that you are living as slaves to it uh -oh. when God has already said uh -huh. it's yours? Uh -huh. Come on now. Uh-huh. Right. What authority are you giving to another my, my, when my. that authority belongs to, to you. you. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. The mm. hidden things. The hidden. Yeah. What am I saying to you? Mm. I'm saying if God promised it, yeah. you must be able to say like it was declared in us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And David served the purpose uh -huh. of God uh -huh. in mm. his mm. generation. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you, it didn't happen when he was running over by the Philistine. Mm -hmm. It did not running, uh, happen even when he was at Ziklag. It kept, it happened when the Bible declared. Mm -hmm. And David realized mm -hmm. that he was king yes. over all Israel. Yes. Let me tell you, only when you realize who God say you are and begin to act like how yes. God yes. say you are, then can you begin to walk Hallelujah. in the purpose for which you are. Amen. Mm. But if you're waiting for somebody to endorse you, uh -huh. and if you're waiting for people to tell you you're a Goliath, you see, he, he could have just said, said killing giants. Uh -huh. Everybody around him would have said, isn't he living in purpose? Uh -huh. And many of us, we are doing something that everybody likes. But that's not what God has called you to do. I came here to tell you today, you, it is time for you to serve the purpose of God in your generation. Because if you can only catch on that the purpose of God in your generation will make everything change. It will go down the line. What if David did not serve the purpose of God? Look at the generation. That would have been so. And not understanding the purpose of God. Wow. You say, what do you mean? I mean, he was anointed. Mm -hmm. anointed. Anointed. The guy was anointed. Mm -hmm. He said, the one anointed my head but with oil. Yeah. My cup won it over. The guy was anointed. Yeah. But not in purpose. My God. Help. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh -huh. I want to say that to myself every day. I don't want to be anointed mm. and everybody think I'm the best whatever mm. uh, and not doing the purpose of God in this generation. Why? Because I, there's some things that are hidden mm -hmm. that God mm -hmm. wants to be revealed yeah, yeah. and the only way that it's going to be revealed is if I reveal it. He said, what? Mm. You hear it? Yeah. Will you not say nothing? Mm. You see it fulfilled, uh, uh, uh. but you ain't doing nothing about it. Oh what is he saying to you? There's some things that God Something. have to hit the earth. Yeah. It's all, the, the, the creation uh. is groaning yeah. for the manifestation uh, yeah. of the sons of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. God is looking for you to do something that will make the earth know. Surely there is a God in kingdom, but it must happen because you believe it and expect it. Yes. 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 I ask you what would have happened if Moses had not paid attention to the burning bush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But I want to tell you what I am glad he did. He drew near. He drew near. He observed. Hey, what that mean? He began to say, God, I, I want you to open up my eyes that I could understand why what I see ain't like what I accustomed to see all the time. I'm accustomed that I see burning bush, but burning bush turn to ashes. Burning bush catch other bush. But this burning bush is concentrated burning bush, and I want to tell you, I don't see that leave <laughs> burning uh-huh. but fire is on it uh-huh. open me up I, am I seeing things uh-huh. it's time for us to get to want to see more mm-hmm. that's it, that's it, that's it. that we don't just settle going up and, and opening up a burning bush ministry yeah, 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 yeah. but we want to know from the heart of God yeah. what God wants yeah. from us yeah. Are you hearing me? We can't only go about every day of our lives saying, oh, what God can do. We want to be in the action of what God is doing. Are you understanding me? Because what God has for you will only come out when you are ready to pay attention. He said there, he said what? He said in Isaiah, he said, I'm going to move down now and give you the hidden things. I want you to hold on because the other part is a little more tight. It's a little more tight. He said what? They are created. They are created. They are created. They are created. Now. I call that custom made. That God is custom making uh-huh. some things that he said okay let me read a little further because somebody gonna say that say something different so let's say it's created now it's created now okay so everybody got that word now yeah. now let me say what now mean uh-huh. at this time yeah. no mean right. immediately uh-huh. Let me get some words with now. Mm. No means suddenly. So let's go ahead again. It created now. Suddenly. No. Hallelujah. Let's go. You ready? Be going. It's created now. Call into it. Okay, in the um the classical that I'm reading, it says called into being by the prophetic word. Uh-huh. If you're going to declare a prophetic word, what you have to do? You got to say something. You got to hear from God and not just keep it to yourself because the creative the creative power of God is in the prophetic word. Yeah. And so God is saying, I'm creating it now, now. but I'm looking for some people to declare it now. Now, 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 now. If if you don't declare it now, I can't bring it into being now. now. Uh now. Do you understand what is important for us to do as people of children of God? Begin not only to see God doing things and not declare it, but when you see God begin to speak, Break forth a creative word into your life. I told, I, I told them about Moses. Mm-hmm. Moses was in the desert. Anybody, well, I know that. I could say me. I was born in an island that, when it, it's hot, it's really hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's called Sentence. Yeah. <laughs> one of these things, and I am going to tell you, I was one of those guys who don't care what shoes that they had, mm. I like somehow to walk barefoot. Mm. I have some, I have some um, glass bottle cut, <laughs> but that's only for thinking people is glass bottle. <laughs> I have some cut, no, and I mean real cut. You see, in thinking they call glass bottle, 
grass oh. and I could not I couldn't understand it. I, I was a guy who did read a lot and I kept looking for this all this grass but I mean serious it's not joke and then I one day I sat down and I said what is this glass bottle I think what they mean is you see, because it's the broken glass bottle uh -huh. that they call glass bottle. Okay. So they, 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 all they had to do was to say, hey, this is uh, broken glass. That's it. <laughs> but they call it glass bottle. Okay, gotcha. So then all of a sudden, I go, I'm going, uh, running, going someplace, because I, I was a guy who liked to run for everything. And bam, I, I cut one of those cuts. I mean, if I was in, um, in America, they would have given me a lot of stitches and mm -hmm. all sorts of things. I, I, I've been out again. I remember when I was there coming up. You, you remember, guys remember the big cup? Yeah. It was I really big. Cups. But God, I mean, just, just my mom fixed it up a bit, put yeah, some grass, and so, now they use the grass. <laughs> and they use some grass and <laughs> fix it up. With, no, for real. From the grass. From the grass up with, you see, but you guys know that now? You're buying it now in a different form. <laughs> because now that, that, that is what they call it, clo um, the, the, um, clo -fill. Eh? Clo -fill. Yes. That's what you guys now doing. What you don't know is that it, 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 we, we used to do it in St. Kitts before three. Okay, all right then. You play for big point. You, 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 you play big point now. Wow, wow. But so I was telling you. So I, 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 I said, when it is hot, and that's what happened in the desert, it's hot. It is not conducive for you to take off your shoes. Everybody agree with that? If you take off your shoes, it makes it very difficult for you because the thorns and the, twist, um, the thistles is going to attack the, the, that foot. And the heat of the sun is going to cause problems to your, 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 your foot. Yeah. Everybody got that? Yeah. The reason why when you were an evangelist, mm -hmm. you had to have good soul was because an evangelist was a runner. Okay. And they used to run from one place to the next to be able to give good news. Yes. At that time, it was give news. That means how the, how the evangelist was the guy who went from the army to the king to say how the war had been going. Everybody got that? Yes. So let's go back. So let's go back to where we are. All of a sudden, God looked at Moses and said, Take those shoes off. off. Yeah. I think I hear things say, I know how how desert life is. I've been working in this desert for a long time. I've been carrying around things. I don't think you know what happened. Should I take my shoes off? I don't think you have God. Do you really God? Do you really know what happened when you take your shoes off? Because I don't think you know. Because that's what we to be smart yeah, people want to tell God. Because God tell us something, and all of a sudden our words are, God, do you know what you're talking about? No, okay. Just think. They just think about it. How many times do you say, God, I don't know if you understand what's going on here. <laughs> Yes. Uh, how many times do you, you want to know? Is he void of understanding? I am crying out and I'm not seeing the results that I need. But Moses didn't do that. God said take off his shoes, he take off the shoes. Because he didn't think that his knowledge of the desert had anything to do with it. He, were, he realized something that I want every child of God to realize. Mm -hmm. Is God determines the yes. condition yes. of the environment. Yes, yes, and if, if he say do something, he is able to control uh, yes. Yes, that yes, condition yes, yes, yes. so that he can make it good for you. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You say, how do you know that? Huh? Oh, you see, I said that too, today too. I said, we have an example to follow. Mm -hmm. Those guys had no example. When those guys roll into the fire, mm -hmm. and I say roll into the fire because the guys who it was supposed to throw them in the fire die from the fire. <laughs> those guys, how did they get in the midst of the fire? <laughs> I didn't say at the entrance. I'm saying in the midst. Uh -huh. 
Are you getting me? Are you agreeing with me that if, if those guys are in the midst of the fire, those guys realize that they were free the minute those guys are falling down and they hit the, the entrance of the fire, I think the normal things, the bondage that they had at the foot, the bondage that they had at the, at, 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 in the hand, loosen up, and those guys say, I'd rather to be in the presence of God in the fire than to be out there out of the will of God. And I want to tell you this, it's time for us to want to be in the presence of the Lord rather than to be known by, by bishops and, and, and governors yes, yes, yes. and all the people rather to be in the presence of God. Walk into the fire knowing whether he deliver us or not. The first part was just to clear the ear. We know that God is going to deliver us. But whether he deliver us or not, we are not going to bow. I want to tell you what that means. I'd rather to die in the, the fire expecting God to do something than to do what God say not to do and live. God wants us to get a passion for him. Yes. That's a hidden thing that God is pushing out. Yes. He said, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to, to please me yes. in spite of everybody say, you don't have to do that. God say, do it. God say, do it. God say, do it. And you're saying, what does that mean? It means that God is bringing back a passion for him that was hidden. And he's saying, I'm showing it to the earth, mm. and I'm showing it to the earth yes. through you. Yes. 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 Are you there? You have heard. Mm -hmm. They were created now, no, what? and not from the beginning. Man. What does that mean? When God was creating the heaven and the earth, yeah. what he is about to show to his people now wasn't there. That's right. Because it wasn't needed. That's right. And now God is saying, I'm doing it what? Now. I'm doing it what? Now. It was not from the beginning. Mm. Do you understand what that means to, to mean? That all the time I could hear somebody tell me. How you mean it was for the thing? When, mm. And Jesus had already tell us, but uh, say, say it when he came here. I'm going to show you, the, tell you what Jesus said. How you mean that um, that he created? When Jesus, God created the heaven and the earth, everything that was needed for the earth was there. And I say, you didn't read what Jesus said. The Pharisees and the, the Sadducees was, came down one day, mad with Jesus for healing on the Sabbath day. Yeah. And he said, the, hey, he said, this is the day that God rested. Mm -hmm. And God said, are you, are you did, did, did you say that? Mm -hmm. And said, he said, since then, mm -hmm. my father work. Mm -hmm. yes. Because you forget that the God is, it means, he, he didn't rest and stay there. But he said, since then, mm -hmm. my father worked. He said, hitherto, and I work. Simple what he's saying. He's saying, I'm still in the creation. God is still in the creation business. Yeah. Yeah. God is still in the creation business. Yeah. He's saying to you, my father worked hitherto, since then, mm -hmm. and I work. Yeah. What was he, he saying to them? Mm. He was saying to them, do you have something that you want mm -hmm. to take place? Mm -hmm. God is saying, I am mm. what I am. Uh -huh. yes, amen, amen. Mm. In the original it says, I, I, mm. I uh. will what I will. Mm -hmm. I will be what I will be. What he was saying in short is, 
You think that you have me in this box? But the generations of the earth is going to hear and they're going to see that every time that I make my way through the different areas of life, I'm going to be God all by myself. So, so those of you who have God in the box, check your box because he's not there. You might see, you see the problem is you haven't looked in your box long enough. Otherwise you would be on the, you will already begin to look for him because you'll know he's not there. Not there, not there. So I want you to get rid of the box and start to look in unto Jesus, yes. who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Get in there, get in there. We're going to wrap up now. I want to tell you what, I, what we've been saying here today. It's Yes. He said, it's created now and not from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Everybody got it? Yes. It's, created it's not from the beginning. Not from the beginning. I don't know if you're, you agree with me, but that beginning mm. that he was talking about, he was talking about the beginning of creation. Yes. And before today, you have never heard of them. Mm. Lest you who should say, behold, I knew them. What God is about to do in the earth, mm -hmm. yeah. don't feel bad. But I want to encourage you today, mm -hmm. think big. Yes, yeah. amen. Think big, yes. as, good, as big as you can think, go ahead and think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because after that, you will realize all that happened after that mm. is bigger than you could think. Yes, yes. Bigger, bigger, bigger. bigger. Eyes have not seen, Eyes. no ears heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man mm -hmm. the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you understand what God yes. is saying yeah, yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and think. Yes. He yes. wants you to think. Yeah. Go ahead and look. Yeah. He wants you to look. Yes. Go ahead and hear. He <laughs> wants you to hear. That's right. When you finish doing all that, yeah. no, God have more than that. More than that. God has more than that because he's about to yes. go ahead and show you mm -hmm. things that mm. you have never seen before. My God, my God. And he says, it's for now. Yeah. Why is he preparing you for now? He's preparing you for now so that the glory of God can cover the earth. The knowledge of the glory of God Mm -hmm. will cover the earth as the water covers the sea. Amen. God is saying, as I live. Mm -hmm. I end with this as, I, I, as we, we go into this. Mm -hmm. As I live. And God is a God who we can say with confidence that when God said, as I live, it means I can't afford to lie because I'm going to be around here mm -hmm. to deal with that, to, to deal with that lie. Mm -hmm. So when God said, as I live, believe me, God is saying, as I live, with the confidence that you understand that he ain't, he's not afraid of standing up and telling you, did I tell you that? <laughs> Didn't I say that is going to happen? Uh -huh. Some people, we could, we, 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 at least, that could kind of get them out of out, 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 mm -hmm, of, out mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. But in Numbers chapter 14 and verse 21, he said, But truly as I live, and in all the earth shall be filled with the glory okay. of the Lord. Amen. <coughs> mm -hmm. I want you to know today, you're here. And you're not born again. You don't know Jesus as your Savior. Let me not do like what people have been saying to you all the time. If you're okay, you're going to get there somehow. You are living out of purpose. My God. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are not living in your purpose. 
Because I told you earlier that God made you for his glory. When you are outside the purpose of God, you are vulnerable. That's right. Because every time the devil look at you, he sees somebody who if they enter into their purpose, that is going to have bring back the glory of God mm -hmm. that Satan has been trying to get to stamp out. Huh. And so the easiest thing he can do is to either, all he is trying to do is trying to destroy you. So he sent me here to tell you. So God sent me here to tell you. Let me make sure I tell you who tells them. I, I, I always joke on myself. Don't worry about it. He sent me here to tell you that you can be free. That who the Son of God set free mm. is free indeed. That you have no reason to live under the clutches of Satan when God has already said it is finished. Man redemption now has been made. If you are here, you don't know Jesus, but you were like David has been going all the, you've been trying everything to see where you could help yourself. And you realize today, I'm anointed. Some of you are from parents that have been pray, praying for you, like all, all you can hear is about my mom that prayed for us. Well, let me tell you, it means that when God said to her, blessed shall be the fruit of thy womb, it means that had nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. That had to do with the womb that you came from. Mm -hmm. So don't live outside of the blessing when you are blessed because of the blessed womb that you came from. So live in the blessing that you were born in. Amen. And come to Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come to the one who is the blesser. Amen. Who said that that he that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast off. And uh, we talk at uh, uh, that and uh, another, uh, another time. We were talking this morning, and I was telling them that Abraham, if you read his story, and then you go to Hebrew and you say, he staggered not at the promises of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You say, is that Abraham that lie about his wife being his sister? The Abraham that went to Mesopotamia that... Are you, talk, God, are you talking about that Abraham that went to Egypt when you're telling... Oh, are you talking... And then you read Hebrew, he said, he's talking up. So I was talking to God about it, about it and God said, every good producer... No, the things that are needed for his story. And he edits anything mm -hmm. that ain't what ain't supposed to be in, in the story. That's right. You could call them blue uh, what they call them? Bloopers? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could call them bloopers. You don't see the bloopers unless they give you it in a trailer. That's right. But you see God coming and he take out everybody say you stagger here and God say Take that out. My God, my God. Mm. Somebody say, hey, she did this. And God said, take that out. My God, my God, my God. That is the part of the story that I'm interested in. Because I'm mm. a good producer. Yes. I am going to give you the story that I want you to think to know. And that is, he's mm. tagging up. Mm. So no matter what you did. Mm. God has just begun his editing. Mm. And he is, for people who don't know who is the producer, mm. they're waiting to see it in the end product. And they are disappointed because they ain't see it in the end product. Mm. Because that's not the story. Mm -hmm. So I want to let you know, mm. God wants to bring this edit into place now. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to know, you pass, it's the pass. as far 
Come on now. At the east is from the west. Mm -hmm. So far has he removed. I like that word. Remove means to move and take out. Not just put to a side. This is ain't in the picture no more. It's being removed. For people who are real good, good, good um, editors, it is Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you get it. So if you're here and you don't know Jesus as your Savior, God wants you to get in the picture so he could edit your past Amen. and send you to your future. Amen. Amen. Because I hear God saying, you stagger not. Amen. You don't know Jesus? This is your time to get to know Jesus. Amen. You know Jesus and you've been staggering? Mm. This is your time that God can edit you and edit the area of your stand for him and that the past will no longer be a staggering past. Amen. You can come. You're here, you want a new beginning. A time when God, you, you want God to do, create it now, a new thing. You want some hidden things that you've been hearing about, but you don't know whether they're sure that God wants you to do. You want clarity now. Because God is creating it now. now. Come. Father God, I've given them your, your word. Thank you for making me an available messenger. Lord, let every one that hear your word know that you are creating it now. Creating it now for this 2019 so that, oh God, your glory of God, the knowledge of the glory of God will cover the earth as the water covers the sea. So now, Lord God, I ask you, God, to strengthen our lives. I ask you, Lord God, to save souls. I ask you, Lord God, to let this week be a week, not of just hearing the word of God, but, oh God, we will become as the billion disciples, those who heard the word and searched the scripture to see if it was so, and then went out and do it. Lord, let us here be a people that do the word and that the word will come life in us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.